after the success of my mini figure scale video and a very nice comment left by Dirk Willem de Vries. Do let me know how close I was to saying your name this time. I've decided to show off how exactly I work with my minifigure scale, specifically a 1 to 45 minifigure scale, which means the things that I build line up to the height of a minifigure being 180 centimeters. The width does not add up, even the thickness of a minifigure, the depth, definitely doesn't line up solely based off the height of a regular minifigure being 180 centimeters in real life. So that's a 4 to 180 which is where I get the scale 1 to 45. But it's easy enough to say that, how do I actually come up with the numbers? Now I've seen a load of people in the comments use three studs as a meter, which is not far off the scale that I use and also would look great in minifigure scale. I'd say anything between 145, 135 around them numbers would be pretty cool to see in minifigure scale. Now, Lego do blow up their speed champions to about a 120 scale, which is also quite popular for people to display. But when it comes to things like a Lego City, they don't fit on these size roads and you're just going to need a lot of space. In fact, with mine, you could probably have one lane at the front but there's no way I could fit two lanes of speed champions in my city. But now to how we do it, I am going to start fresh. I have a second sheet here to run through the process with you. And hopefully this helps if you do want to create your own minifigure scales and aren't too quick with the math. Because honestly, the only thing you need to do is type in a few commands and all the numbers are done automatically. This works in Google Sheets, which is what I use. Microsoft Excel or any other platform that runs on the similar programming. So if you've got Excel, if you don't have Excel, Google Sheets is free. So as long as you have a Google account, you can do this on Sheets. But what I have done here is taken the names of the ships. You don't need three columns. Let's just go into our new folder and go ship name and we can leave it there. If you want to add pilot names, you can always right click and insert a column to get another one up and that will just move everything along and give you another new column. Now we want to give two columns each to length, width and height or depth, width, height, however you want to name them. I go with length, width, height because that is what I'm used to hearing. So we want two columns each. So we've got length and then we've got the Lego length, which just helps you to differentiate between the actual length and how many bricks there is. And then we want to do the same for width and height. And then once you've done that, I'll give you time to type this up as the video's going along. It will just help you see the actual length, width and height of vehicles. Sometimes these are hard to get and you're just going to have to approximate based on how good it looks. But the easiest way for Star Wars ships is to go on Wikipedia. If Wikipedia doesn't have it, chances are the lengths don't actually exist. So you could always try and size it up yourself using an image of the ship with a character from the show that has a predetermined height. Someone else in the comments did say that they scaled down a Pirates of the Caribbean boat to the character on the sheet was four centimeters, which is the scale that I use. And then that allows them to build the ship with a few more curves than just the box that we end up here. And that is another great way to find your minifigure scale. But once you have these lengths, you don't actually need to enter any details. I realize I have misspelled length there. But all you need to do is come across to the Lego length. And this is specifically for 1 to 45 scale. For any other scales, the conversions can be a little tricky, but hopefully we can go over a few at the end. Now, for the Lego length, you want to type equals and then click on the length that is horizontal to it on your Excel sheet. And this will select this, and then we want to divide it by 0.3, because for 1 to 45, each brick is 30 centimeters. Now, this would mean we're working with meters. If you can, definitely convert all your measurements to meters, because it just makes the math a lot quicker. That is all the math you'll ever need for length, because if you want to multiply this and make multiple lengths for different ships, all you've got to do is hover over the dot in the bottom corner where you get the plus, drag it down as far as you need, and you just multiply this calculation. So if I were to double click on this, you can see the box it's selected to change is actually directly to the left. It's very, very handy. As I said, since opening this document, all I've had to do is click on one of these boxes, drag it down, and it copies it across for all of the other ships. Similarly, with the width, we want to do the exact same thing. But before we get there, 
What if we are working in feet instead of meters? Because this calculation only works for meters. So if you do want to work in feet, it is quite straightforward as well. You want to insert another column and first off, just convert the feet to meters. All you want to do is click on meters equals, select it again, and rather than dividing by 0 0.3, which you could do for the sake of simplicity, but you want to not divide, you want to times by, which is the asterisk above the eight for a UK keyboard. And you want to times it by 0 0.3048 because this converts the feet into meters. And then you're doing the exact same thing for the width. You want to type in equals, select the width and then divide by 0 0.3. And now you have the conversion of six foot into meters, which is about 182 centimeters which is about six bricks tall. Now, this isn't the height of the brick. This is the width of the brick. So if we were looking at a one by one brick, you can see that a minifigure is six widths of a brick tall. So to work out the height, we do have a different calculation because a plate is definitely not the width of a brick. In fact, rather than it being 30 centimeters in the one to 45 scale, it's only 12 centimeters. So for the height, we want to once again type in equals for the last time, unless you're converting from feet to meters. Feet to meters is the same, no matter whether you're doing length, width or height. And it's just a way to get meters as the base value. If you're converting from any other measurements like centimeters, you divide by 100 kilometers, you times by 1000. That's going to be a lot of Lego bricks. Try not to work with kilometers. But any other conversions you can find by Googling, we want to type equals select the height that we will be changing and we want to divide it by 0.12 and that is the representative height of a lego plate 12 centimeters and smack enter to complete that once again you can drag these as far as you want let's try to line these up with the uh with the length here and then you've got all of the ships you need to if you want to add another column once again just insert it to the right and now you've got space to add your pilot. Now, in terms of using other scales, of course, 1 to 45 is divided by 0 0.3. If you wanted to go down to 135, the math is a bit funny with meters, but you're going down to 0 0.233, as many threes as you could put down. So I'd recommend dropping to 130, which is more simply... 0.2 and if you wanted to double the scale of 45 for some of your smaller ships you can go to 245 because 122.5 just doesn't work and gets way too complicated to say and that is more simply 0.15 hopefully i have given you all the information you need of course if you do need a little bit more help drop a comment down below and i'll be sure to get back to you as soon as i can Good luck building your minifigure scout and as always, may the bricks be with you.